Hello and welcome back to Rift Wizard. We're we're gonna try and make make some things happen. I, I'm I am trying pretty hard to, to make something some good things happen. I guess I what I should have done is taken more level one spells maybe. But I know I I've done that in the past and it hasn't necessarily worked for me. I am gonna take Death Bolt probably every time as our first level one, because it's just such a good level one spell. Like we only need to cast it like three times, I think I've worked it out as, um, in order to beat the level. Um, so it's just, it's, I guess it just makes life easier on myself. Could take some more health. Wow, again, we only have health available to us and no health and healing potions. Only mana potions, only Zool, okay. Um, this is not ideal, but it's better than nothing. So I'm hoping to just get away with using our, uh, Death Bolt again for this, this first floor. These, uh, Armored Goblins have more health, which is good for us because hopefully that means we can, um turn them into more powerful skeletons. 30 health. And then when we have, as soon as we have one of them, we should be able to make another one happen a bit more effectively. As soon as it has eight health, I can throw the death bolt out. This lad over here is gonna make a nice candidate. And also, that, that guy over there is ripe, but I, I can't get to him in time, probably. It's okay. It's okay, our other our, uh, other skeletons are gonna do just fine. Just need this guy to take one more hit, there we go. Now, now we're good. I think we're good for the rest of the level. There we go. All right. We got some good stuff. We've got six skill points now. We have one death bolt left. We could maybe land on a circle. So we could land on either a sor sorcery circles or would be really nice. Sorcery covers a huge ground. Pretty sure. Yeah, sorcery is like everything. Um, fire and lightning and 16 physical damage to the target. So that's a nice chunk. Dark. Oh, this has Cascade. Oh, well, <laughs> I wish I'd found this in the last one. This one has Chaos. Interesting. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind going Chain Lightning. Is there, I wonder if there's like Lightning and Dark. Let's find Lightning and Dark. Only Death Shock, which I've tried before. The target is slain. This effect a bonus, a bounces to a random enemy in line <clears throat> of sight to up to four tiles away. Let's, uh, is there any skills? Just crystal power. Your sorcery spells gain two damage for each frozen or glassified enemy. I don't know how to make a glassified happen. <clears throat> Maybe we could figure out how to make glassified happen. I think there is, well, I don't know, like, how to look that up. Glassified, glassified. I'm just like looking through all of the spells now. Living, five turns, 10 turns. It's, it's, it's a big book and there's a lot of stuff in it. Ah, Glassified. Glass Orb. It's another Chaos spell. No, it's sorry, it's not. It's uh, Conjuration and Orb. Uh, each turn the Orb inflicts Glassify on enemy units in a three-tile area. They cannot act. They have less uh, resistance to physical, less resistance, but they gain resistance to just about everything else. Interesting. So we could take Glass Orb um, but on the next 
floor, we could take uh, crystal power. Two damage for each frozen or glassified enemy. So we could take crystal power on the next floor with the intention of taking glass orb. Sure, why not? Let's let's like a hundred percent go for this crazy uh, combo, which might not even work. Um, this is not an ideal situation. What I'm gonna do? This is a living creature. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna use my last death bolt. Oh, we have uh, we have lightning mantises, right? So they're gonna be a problem. Can we take our spell? Well, we all what we really want is crystal power, right? So this is three, and then we can learn uh, glass orb. Orb control, re retarget all allied orbs to target tiles. Interesting. So let's. I know it's an orb, glass orb. So I'm gonna take this. And so now we can take glass orb. Except the thing is, is that it only improves my. I just ru I just ruined this run, didn't I? Because it only ruins. It, it <laughs> no, I, I can take a mana potion, but uh, it only improves our our. Uh... Hold on a second. There's so much to learn in this game. Um. It improves our sorcery spells. It just does a lot more damage for our sorcery spells. But if we don't have any sorcery spells, then that's a big problem. So we're gonna use our teleport spell to run away. Um, I don't know where we could go where the lightning guys could like not reach us. 14 range. Let's go here, just to, oh, never mind. Okay, we, we are not safe anywhere, basically. We have to take a, a turn to use our mana potion. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and throw glass orb out. Then we're gonna cast death bolt. So these guys are glassed. I, I have to take my healing potion now. So glass orb doesn't last too long, does it? Next to the caster, each turn the orb has no will of its own. Can be destroyed by physical damage. I think it's just like, if it takes any damage at all, it's, it's done. So we need to protect it if we can. Jesus, this guy didn't even hit it. How long does it last? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand why it, that one died. What we need to do is kill the lightning mantises because those are. Yeah, it just destroys. It just it it just gets destroyed in in like a few turns. It does, but I'm not seeing like how long it lasts. In a three tile area. I don't understand why it's disappearing. That's really a problem because our like our run kind of relies on it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this glass orb gimmick is not working for me at all. It's one of those things where it's like I could make it work for me, maybe. But like it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. These mantises are a huge pain in the butt. I almost feel like you know what? Let's just restart. Um, we're gonna we're gonna restart. I don't I don't want to try and make that run work. Because I'm already not liking the glass orb, and we're just wasting time trying to make that work. Um, what do we What do we have? Sorcery again? Or well, we could try a different sorcery. I like conjuration. Conjuration covers a lot lot of ground, and that could be a lot of fun. Um, why don't we do Why don't we take wolf? I know death bolt is conjuration. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm gonna take death bolt again. Because we have conjuration, we could we could try and uh, take like other things. We could do like uh, holy and dark this time. We could take that uh, the unholy 
uh, Union, I forget what it's called, and uh, do like Holy and Dark, that could be better. At least a bit better than what we've been doing because this this is not kind of kind of a mess right now. Um, let's spawn over here because we can make this work and get rid of a gate like right away. Okay, so this armored goblin is going to be our first candidate for a good skeleton. It's going to take two of these, but we'll do it. And then we have a good lad skeleton on the field. And then the second skeleton, our second armored goblin is going to be our second good lad skeleton. We have eight spells left. Oh, unfortunately we don't have line of sight on that armored skele uh, goblin. So now he's he's splitting his attention, but we can we can hit him. All right, we should have enough to take on the rest of the lads. Okay, well we'll do one more. Oh, a lot of goblins, a lot more goblins than I thought. Man, I'm like trapped in here. Let's just make a small army and then bully our way out. I'm being bullied by these skeletons. Oh, I don't have any more spells left. Okay, let's get on this conjuration circle and get some more conjuration. So I think what I want is Choir of Angels. Let's take Choir of Angels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, Unholy Union Unholy Alliance. Oh, we can't take it yet because it costs four. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll cast un the choirs now. We'll do two of them. Oh, except they don't do damage, do they? They don't do damage. They do two damage. What? They're doing two damage, but they don't seem to be doing any damage. <laughs> what? Oh, to, uh, to, to, to undead only. Wow. I'm really bad at this game also. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take another mana, we're gonna take a mana potion and uh, I can't believe I've taken a mana potion on this goblin zone. This goblin zone bested me. So we have enough for that skill, but is it worth taking now or should we take another conjuration skill instead? Since we have the ability to do that. Um, Hungry Maw, H 8 HP, 1 shield, floats, and is stationary. Which, it pulls enemies towards it. Um, vanishes after 15 turns. Does 9 physical t uh, damage. Invokes savagery. Each living, uh, well that's something completely different. But let's look at um, Conjuration purely. Giant Bear, I do like Giant Bear. Um, has 65 X HP, does 10 physical damage. I do like Mercurize. Mercurize, I mean. It does poison and then it turns, it gives you a pretty powerful unit. Um, I liked Plague of Filth, but it didn't really work for us. We could take another, like, we could do Call Archon. But that's gonna cost us a lot of skill points, so we won't be able to get Unholy Union until next turn. Is there, uh, let's take that off. Is there dark and holy spells? There is. Target allied unit gains the ability to reincarnate on death for 40 turns. Soul tax. Okay. And fly. Archons have beam attacks which deal lightning damage. They vanish after 14 turns. Well, we have Conjuration. You know, uh, an option here is we could just improve our current spells. What about Choir of Angels? Number of summons, minion duration, heal. So they only heal. They would heal our uh, our skeletons, maybe. Withering, minion damage. 
Uh, we, well, let's increase max charges. It's a shame that that doesn't give us more charges. And then I'm just gonna call... Uh, I don't know, we could... Can we... We could upgrade it with one more thing. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there, and then we're gonna go to the next floor. Ice Claw Shrine enhances nature or dragon conjuration spell with redeal physical damage dealt by a minion summoned as ice damage. Well, I don't have any nature or dragon conjuration, unfortunately. So that wouldn't be super worth it for us, so I think we should just go for Ruby Heart, except for the fact that this one has Spriggans, and I hate Spriggans. Truly, truly hate Spriggans. They do not work for us. This one has Bogarts. Bogarts also suck, but it has giant bats, and we can maybe make that work for us a bit more. Bogarts do what again? They have Arcane Resistance. For some reason, that seems to work with my uh, Death Bolt as well, but they won't. They don't have... Um, Resistance to physical, so that's the important part. Um, okay, we could come here and kind of make this shrine work for us. There is a mana potion on here. Didn't it also say there's a health potion? No, there's only a mana potion. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to say, I think that this is the best we can do. You know what we could do is we could come here and try and get a nature or conjuration potion or a spell. Nature Conjuration. Nature Conjuration. Toxic Spores, Earthen Sentinel. Have 120 HP, 50, 50 physical resist, 50 HP. Have a melee attack which deals uh, two, 20 physical. The ele elemental vanishes after 15 turns. Uh, I don't think I can afford a dragon. Prison of Thorns, summon a group of enemies with carnivorous plants, have 7 HP and cannot move. Uh, eh, I don't know. I think the wolf is honestly our best bet. What does this shrine do again? Redeal physical damage as ice damage. So, yeah, we could make that work. Let's just buy the wolf. I know we don't save anything on that, so what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the circle by um, improving our wolf. We could make it an ice hound, but then we're just doubling down on ice. Make it a blood hound. Or give it pounce. Summon blood hounds instead of wolves. Not sure what that means. I hope that doesn't mean they lose physical damage. So I think what I'll do, I'm not gonna take the chance that they, that that would that's the case. Instead, I'm just gonna increase their minion damage, and I'm gonna save one SP. Okay, so the shrine's actually in a pretty good position, so we could do this right away. Ice claw attunement on the wolf, and then we're gonna start summoning wolves. They don't disappear, right? Good. Um, so that means they're going to do more physical damage and they're, then they're going to redeal that damage as ice damage. That will hopefully be enough to hurt a giant bat. Actually, we could do this right now and then hopefully I can turn that giant bat into a skeleton. Oh yeah, oh that was really good damage. That was amazing damage. Let's summon another wolf. This wolf did take some nasty damage. You know what? Let's um, turn them into a skeleton. They're they're a pretty decent amount of health. <clears throat> so we're gonna want to. Oh no. Yeah, I was worried about that. It was. He took enough damage to uh, get hit by that giant bat. Okay, so we want to. So we we're, we're summoning a giant uh, a, a wolf to do enough damage to the giant bat so that we can turn the giant bat into a skeleton. Giant bats are gonna be very good skeleton friends. The wolf is doing a really bang up job killing basically everything. As long as they don't take any damage, they're fine. Actually, you know what? This is, Choir of Angels would be very good in this circumstance because they're gonna heal the wolf, aren't they? I should have summoned those like a long time ago.
Are there any more fatty boy bats? It doesn't look like it. All right, so this is working out. This is good so far. I mean, it's, it's I wouldn't say there's a strong synergy, but there is at least a synergy. You know, like, I've been really struggling. I've been really struggling with, uh, with Rift Wizard, and so having literally anything is like, hey, hey, I have something. <laughs> I have something. By Gar? I really wish the wolf would, like, stop. Th these guys need to stop ignoring the, the gate. All right, there we go. So I, I did cast a few spells there, but that's okay. We get a mana potion. We get a teleport. We get a, yeah, we get a, we get a mana potion. We could, okay, so fire circle, that would be kind of interesting. Um, I don't mind the Bogarts, that's gonna be fine. Holy circle, now that's interesting. Cause then we could kind of double down on choir of angels. Uh, also, if we go to the Holy Circle, we could get that one spell, the Unholy Union, for free. And that way we could get, we could cast Death Bolt for free. I don't think that that's really... Oh, I guess it's not that it casts Death Bolt for free. It's that it does more damage. Whenever you summon an undead or demon, if you control a Holy Union, Holy Unit, the newly summoned unit gains 7 damage. Okay, so what we would want to do... If we get that, and I think I would do want that, is basically I would first summon Choir Angels, then I summon Death Bolt. Um, actually, how does it how does it work? Make sure I understand how this works here. Whenever you summon an undead or demon, if you control a holy union, well, I'm not summoning it. It's Death Bolt that's summoning it. Does that still work? I wonder. Whenever you an enemy takes fire, lightning, and physical damage in the same turn, summon an iron imp. Good luck on that one. I couldn't even make ghost fire work. Whenever you cast the last charge of an arcane spell. Okay. I still think that this is worthwhile, the holy circle. Oh, conjuration circle. I didn't see that one. That would be good, because then we could just upgrade all of our spells. I know Troublers, Troublers are the worst. I hate Troublers. But I think we have what, what we what we need to take them out this time, because we, we're doing mostly physical and ice damage. Each turn, 25% chance to blink to a random tile up to three tiles away. This, this, uh, this, honestly, this field looks like a nightmare. I hate this, but I think ultimately it's not a bad circumstance. I think we can make this work. So uh, what I want to do is upgrade uh, Death Bolt. Kind of want to upgrade it with max charges. Didn't I already do that? I did do that. Um, maybe increase minion damage. Actually, what we want to do is upgrade Wolf. With like minion health. And then wolf with maybe pounce or maybe just minion damage. Oh, we can't do that. You can only do that once. Oh, interesting. There's only one upgrade each. Okay. So let's, uh, let's upgrade. Maybe we can upgrade the choir of angels with minion duration. I think that that would be a good idea. And why not? Well, let's also do, uh, oh, I guess it ups the damage of everything else or the, the, the expense of everything else. Choir of angels gain two shields. We could do that. That way they'll they'll last a little bit longer. So now we're gonna cast Choir of Angels, and then we're gonna. Why did? Oh, he didn't die. He just got teleported. Okay. Then we're gonna tell uh, cast Death Bolt twice. So this guy. Never mind. It's, they're just dead. Then let's just throw out our wolf. Well, that we'll throw out a couple of wolves. Hopefully the centaur will take a little bit of damage so we can death bolt them. They're really not taking any damage. Throw out another wolf just on the off chance. This is this is a nightmare. Centaur just died. 
which is a good sign in a way, but not I'm not super excited about that. Um, I'm gonna summon I'm gonna summon some more wolves, maybe some more choir angels as well. We they're, they're just gonna keep the wolves alive. Um, let's see if I can't um, get the skeleton on the field as well. Skeletons are unfortunately just dying. Wolves are indeed getting he healed, so this is working. Choir of Angels are doing work. They're doing the necessary work. I guess I, in my mind I was like, oh, I have the Unholy Union, right? No, I spent all of my, spell, my skill points uh, on upgrading my other spells. That's fine. Unholy uh, Alliance is something we can still get, and I think it would work. However, something I should consider at this point is maybe since a lot of our damage is on our wolves, we might consider taking stuff that improves our wolves. Like your living minions gain 75 ice resist, for example. Your living minions freeze for three turns upon taking ice damage. Heal for 15 HP. Well, I mean, this is just the anti-minion, or sorry, anti-ice thing. Summon unions gain 25 physical resist, lightning resist. Ice resist, fire resist. This is kind of nice, actually. Kind of really nice. Whenever an enemy dies to poison, no. Um, I guess Face Stone is the only conjuration for nature. Kind of a shame. Uh, there's not really anything else. Whenever summon minion witnesses an enemy take fire damage, that minion heals for half that damage. That's an interesting spell, honestly. Um, Venom Spit. You summon living and nature units gain Venom Spit. Oh, this is good. Ranged attack which deals four poison damage and inflicts poison for ten turns. Not bad. We could take Venom Spit and then something like Acid Fumes to reduce um, enemies' uh, resistance to poison. What could we take for your dark again? Hungry, Mega Venom, sure. Hungry, dead. Your summon undead units gain hunger. Deal seven unit damage to a target up to three tiles away. This is okay. Um, I still think that Unholy Alliance would be all right. Would be would be uh, the way to go. Hypocrisy is what I was looking at that would reduce the cost of our spells. That would be all right. Because then we could take another dark spell that would then make Choir of Angels free, right? I, I guess. Um, I still think Unholy Alliance is what we want ultimately, but I don't know. We 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 have a Conjuration Circle and I a, a bunch of skill points, so we do want to take advantage of that. Let's see how the field kind of settles. Because right now, it is a little bit of a nightmare. I mean, the wolves are doing, doing good work. Especially with the Choir of Angels. Oh, please kill him. Please kill him. Oh, oh he did it. Troublers be damned. We did it. Trouble troublers are, are gonna cause me no more trouble. Um so I don't have enough for the unholy alliance. Do I have enough to upgrade something else? Number summoned heal amount. We could upgrade the wolf. I'm very nervous about making it like a bloodhound or an icehound because then we might lose the synergy we have going on um i might upgrade death bolt though because we have we've, we've increased the max charges on it could increase the minion damage for instance or just the damage we have two sp Tempting. I don't know. No, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save it for now. Giant fire lizard enhances fire or ice spells with half of all ice damage dealt is by the shrine. 
is redealt as fire damage. As this by the shrine or the spell? Um, as fire damage and vice versa. Shrine limit one shrine per spell can be applied only to sorcery and enhancement enchantment spells. Uh, I don't know. I, I, we would we would do well in that field because we are doing ice damage technically. But then there's like just two mana potions and a ruby heart. That would be nice. This wouldn't be a terrible one either. I'm gonna go here. We could you we could stand to have some more health. Um, I think we can make this work. Although it's a, it's going to be a little bit dicey. I know the witches are resistant to dark. However, they're living in dark. Do we do dark da uh, damage to dark units? To all undead, demon, and dark units. So yeah, they would they would actually do something to the old witches. So we we have a pretty good synergy for this floor. So let's go like here. So we have. Uh, time to build up our army. I'll throw out um, our choir of angels maybe right away and a wolf to take out this gate. So yeah, even the blood bears are taking damage because they're demons. And their nature, oh, that means we can't turn them into skeletons, unfortunately. Can we, let's, let's just try it out anyway. Yeah, no skeletons for us. The large worm balls, however, are living, so if they take a damage. Oh, we need to we need to help our angels. Let's get a wolf over there. We took a little bit of damage, but I'm gonna use my healing potion. Okay, we have a wolf over there. Let's do another We can't do another fire of angels over there, unfortunately. Get another wolf going on here. Unfortunately, the wolves like instantly kill the worms, so we can't turn them into skeletons. We're out of wolves. We're gonna have to use our first mana potion. We had one wolf in reserve, which is good. Um, can we get some choirs in there? Yes, choir of angels in there, and then we'll get another wolf in there. So that basically, so they can do uh, both healing and also damage to the any dark units. This is going well. I mean, we're taking down the the hardiest unit pretty handily, which was the blood bear. That being said, there are other things to be concerned about on the field. Honestly, the worm balls are what are gonna what concerned me the most or let's get another fire of angels because the last one is just about done we'll get another wolf out on the field throwing a couple of death bolts uh, out just to just to assist but they're kind of like really weak in this circumstance, because they're not they're not gonna actually do anything for us. I guess what it could do is hit the worm balls in the back. Yeah, that'll create some skeletons, but they die like instantly, so that's not necessarily great. Yeah, it's the worm balls that are like a hundred percent a problem right now, because they they're still getting summoned. So what we should do is actually use a teleporter. And we should, we need to take out a couple of these gates. I'm not going to be too shy with my spells right now. I definitely think I don't just use enough spells. Can we cast past these? Yes, we can. Do a little bit of flanking. Fortunately, those, those angels are, they're not doing any good. Um, but they are stopping this like army of worm balls. We've gotten rid of two gates, which is really good. 
Actually, those two angels like really held up and they, they kept that wolf alive. So there's just the one gate left that might honestly be enough to cause us problems. So we're out of wolves. Fortunately, there are two mana potions on this floor. Like, I don't need them. I want them. We'll use some death bolts just to uh, take care of what's left. I could have probably made better use of death bolt, but they were dying. The skeletons were dying like instantly, so they were basically a waste. Jesus. There. Get in there. Oh my god. <laughs> this one worm ball gate is like seriously causing us problems. Get in there. Kill it. Oh my god. Jeez. That was a nightmare. Alright, still, I'm, I'm feeling better about this run. Dragon Heart Shrine. Enhances dragon spells with 2 minion range, 10 breath damage, extra health. That's tempting. I don't have any dragons, but hey. Never mind. Copper Imp, Iron Imp. Those are fine. We could deal with that. Uh, imps count as dark, don't they? Demon. They're demons. That's just as good, because the acquirers would act- the, the angels would actually do something. Lightning Master. Oh, that sounds dicey. Okay, I, I think that this is the one we want. This is, a. Uh, you've half-stepped through the rift. This is, a uh, like, empty zone. Do these guys have ranged? Yes, they do. So that's a little scary, but I don't think the other two are good for us either. So. Werewolf Alpha, Void Toad, Werewolf Green Slime. Tempting, but I don't, I don't, I'd have to like, again, kind of fit a square peg in a round hole and, and take a dragon spell just to kind of make it work. What I'd really like to do is enhance Death Bolt with the uh, Soul Battery, but I guess it's too late. You really want to do that early on. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong to, to, to not do it at all. So what are these Void Rifts? They are Arcane. They have quite a lot of health, and they're not living, so we can't take advantage of Death Bolt. So they're going to be a problem. 20% chance to each turn to spawn a Void Bomber. Oof. Okay, I don't know. There's not a lot of great options here. So we're gonna throw in some choir, some, some angels, and then throw in our wolf, wolf lad. Let's throw in a couple of wolf lads, maybe. Wish I had enhanced wolf, the, the wolf with pounce. That would have helped a lot. Um, the angels are not close enough, so they're not helping the- and the wolves died, okay, alright. All three of them. Yeah, this is, a uh, this is indeed a pretty dicey floor. I think I'm gonna make it through, but it's gonna cost me a lot of spells. Flag needs to get in there and kill that gate. Uh, I'm gonna use my death bolt to just get rid of some of these bombers. If 
These things count as arcane, so our angels don't actually do any damage to them. So we need to do some damage ourselves. Unfortunately, they're resistant to arcane. I guess we're doing sorcery, so that's not a big problem. But yeah, this is, uh, this is really not ideal. The, the floor was like the perfect storm for killing all of our units. Um, th these gaps are becoming a real problem as well. Can we, we can't kill these guys, right? They're resistant to our spells. We're gonna have to take a, uh, a, a mana potion. There's no way around that fact. I should have, I, I think I did summon all of my angels. We need to get a uh, wolf at that gate. Of course, now the angels are in the way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm watching my health carefully here. He does five arcane damage each turn. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, I don't have a mana potion. Jeez. Go berserk. The, the angels are, like, actively stopping the wolf from doing what they need to do, which is a real problem, so I'm gonna have to summon another one. Uh, I might have to use my teleporter. I'm gonna use the... I'm gonna use a death bolt to get rid of that one bomb, and then I'm gonna use a Chaos Bell. I figured it, something like that would happen. Okay, I need to teleport away. I, this, I'm gonna die. Just summon everything that I can. Oh, these, these rifts are a real issue. If I could get to that health over there, that might help a little bit, but I don't know what their range is. Okay, if they get closer to me, it's gonna be an issue. Okay, we got the health, this is good. The angels are like actively stopping my wolves. I really need to give the wolves pounce. You know what, we're, we're, taking, we're taking pounce. I'm, I, that's, that's the end of it. I know, I know this is not cost effective, but it, it, it this is a problem. Because the wolves cannot get to, to the enemies in time. They just die. So now they're, now they're able to actually get to them. There we go. Oh, that was rough. We got a, we actually did get a healing potion and I'm gonna use that I think right away. Ice lizards, that's not gonna be good for us because we're doing ice damage. Blood gas, centaur, centaur druid, flame rift. Enhance a spell with 10 minion health. That could be good and, and a healing potion. All right, I think that that's the one. We have flame rifts, but I don't know. I don't know if I have a choice here. So we have blood gas gate and these blood gas are undead. So our choir of angels is going to be effective. So we, we're gonna have to use, um, I think we're gonna have to use a healing potion mm -hmm. again, I'm or a mana potion again, I'm afraid. Okay, uh, don't really wanna be close to this. Do these have, do we have, oh, they all have ranged uh, damage. So we're gonna summon here, I think is a good spot. Okay, the wolf, now that now that they have pounced, they're being too aggressive. So that's, that's nice. Um, you know, we, you fix one problem and another one appears. Unfortunately, things either 
stay on the field too long or they die instantly, so I can't make use of uh, our death bolt. Yeah, they, they die instantly, so I, I can never make use of death bolt. Okay. The, the, the bombs are such a problem because they just like instantly kill everything if they if something if it was like stayed out on the field for like a second longer then we could i could heal them oh look at that we can actually kill the centaur and create a skeleton but then they died right away i feel like i'm not scaling well right now like we're surviving but like not good enough. That wolf up there, I just noticed, is like really trooping. He just killed that gate on their own. Incredible. The wolves are doing well. Uh, there's just the one lad left. Oh, he did not make it. Hey, wolf, wolves, what, what's going on here? Okay, well, that's fine. Enhanced spell with minion health. Okay, so definitely I think wolves needs this. Blizzard beast, uh, we have another heart. More mana potions would be good. Actually, we're starting to run low. Durgar, though, that sounds scary. But it sounds living, which is nice. It is living, and it's dark. Perfect. Perfect for us. Do these guys have ranged? Yes, they do. These guys have crossbows, so that's going to be a problem. Okay, we're going to have to use our last mana potion. Um, let's hope for the best. I do have a lot of skill points, uh, but I'm trying to wait for when I have a circle. I know that's not necessarily a good idea, but I haven't really needed to use my spells yet, so. Or sorry, uh, to, to, to buy more spells. These guys have quite a bit of health, so if I could possibly turn them into some skeletons, that would be good. Oh my god. Um, this wolf is about to die. Another, uh, an option is to turn our own wolves into skeletons. This guy is crossbowing me like a true lad. Keep this, keep this guy alive. Do you think he'll survive or do you think he'll die? I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to turn him into a skeleton as we will to this one. I don't know if maybe our angelic singers are actually killing our own creatures. Living on un unholy uh, units are healed. Undead demons and dark units take holy and fire damage. I feel like we're doing damage to our own units. So uh, creating skeletons is actually like 100% bad for us, bad for business. This could be the end of us soon enough. Is there mana potions? There are mana potions on this field. I need to get some wolves past us. I don't have any teleporters. These guys are about to explode into like a ton of spiders. Oh God. Um, time to take some spells in, in a panicked way. Um, let's see here. Well, let's, let's, how about this? What's conjuration circle on the next floor? Berserk Shrine enhances fire or na lightning or nature spell with damaged enemies go berserk for one turn. Could be really cool. Demon Sorcerer. 
enhancement circle, another conjuration circle. And there's like tons of fire stuff on there. And dark creatures. Idol of clarity. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's let's take another, maybe a conjuration. Actually, what are we fighting right now? We're fi fighting living things. Uh, ironically, what we have right now should be good against this. But... Um, not, I'm not sure. I think that sorcery is maybe good. Enemy unit. If the target is under 850 HP, deal an additional 25 damage. Can only target living units. Earthquake. We need to do some, like, burst damage to the whole field. Toxic burst is nice. And it does work against, uh, living units. They don't have resistance. They have negative resistance to ice. You'd think that the wolves would have, like, really cleaned up. Let's take, uh, poison- or toxic burst. Just because I know it's a big old radius. And it should work well. Just, just barely holding on for dear life right now. <laughs> um, are we healing the spiders? Is that what's happening? The angels seem to be healing the spiders. I think that that's why we're not killing anything right now. Oh God. <laughs> Heal all allies in line of sight for 25 health. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what happened is living is actually really bad for us because we heal living creatures. Each living ally attacks a random enemy unit in melee range. The unit deals 14 physical damage and inflicts two turns of stun. Whenever an enemy unit targets you with a spell or attack, that unit is petrified. Um, each turn, blind all units. For one turn, blind units ha have their all their spell ranges reduced. Dominate. Target enemy unit with 40 HP or lower becomes your minion. I don't really want to spend all of my skill points, though. I might not have a choice. There's two gates left on the field. This wolf is, in fact, killing things slowly but surely. Unfortunately, he just died, and I have only the one spell. Stun each enemy unit for 10 turns. Let's, let's do that. So I've been poisoned. Uh, not good. We don't have enough damage. With, okay, it, I think this is over. I could like try and take a spell, but I, I like I don't know what spell to take. I don't know. Hungry Maw. We'll take we'll take anything. We'll just take let's just take like whatever. You know. As soon as I drop below ten health, I'm officially dead. Um, darkness, Ice Vortex, Mystic Power, all other spells gain 7 damage. There's so many spells that have like specific purposes and combo with other spells, but I don't know how they work. Like, there's a way to make all these spells work together in a way that is not not obvious to me because you, it really does require you to read a lot of spells 
let's take chain lightning. I like chain lightning. <laughs> Within the cascade range. We're dead. Welp. I tried. That run lasted an hour long. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know. How long did we last? Realm 6, Realm 7, Realm 8. I, I don't know. Is Realm, is Realm 8 good? Who can say? Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching.